Welcome back to Samsta Games, the place to find new strategy games and today we're gonna play First Day of Atlantis and this is a demo that's part of the Steam game Next Festo and it's a minimalist city builder, it's kind of similar to Islanders but the idea is that you have cards that you use to place buildings on an island or a set of islands and you get points for these and then you need to fulfill certain quests which will give you more cards that you can then use to build even more and more and more and essentially you lose the game if you run out of cards so let's start a brand new game all right so here we are we're going to start building our buildings now here on the bottom we've got our cards and here on the left top we've got our quest and our goal so the way this game works is that you start building buildings and you will gain gold for them and once you fulfill this gold task we get to seven we will gain a new set of cards that we can use and build on top of that we have quest and if you fulfill a quest we will unlock a new type of package of cards so what cards can we build for example we can place a field field produces two gold so i'm going to place a field over here now what's really important to note is that this game doesn't just give you gold for placing something it will also essentially imagine like every time you place something it's as if a turn passed and everything that is producing gold will produce the gold on that turn so for example the field doesn't have any bonus it just produces two gold so if i place the second field notice that i'm not going to get two points and end up in four i'm actually going to get four points and end up at six so i'm going to do this right now and you're going to see that we jump to six that's because it's almost as if a turn passed and this other field gave us the point so it's really important to get get a good mashup of combination of buildings because that is going to give us a point so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to build a villa villa gives one gold natively and then plus one gold for each other villa in range so what i'm going to do is i'm going to build a villa i'm thinking over here Okay, now we get a new set of packages so because i'm going to fulfill some quests i'm going to need something that gives me houses or fields so that's actually all of this these all start packages are the same they all give me two houses two villas and two fields so i'm going to grab one of those and i'm going to build another villa here and all the fields and all these other villas will give us the points now platforms don't give you anything but it's so important that you build them because it will essentially make a turn pass and this should give us money Oh, actually it doesn't. Okay, so the platform doesn't because the platform itself doesn't give us money, so it doesn't let the turn pass. Okay, I thought it did. But okay, never mind. So let's keep building some more villas so that we can get a really good bonus for them. Now, really cool thing about the villas is if you zoom in, you can look at these other two villas. And if I build a new one, they will actually change the look because the villas, they look better if they're around other villas, which I think is really cool. So you can see that I'm gaining a lot of money this way. Now I'm also going to build houses and I'm going to build them a bit more to the left and that's because the market get, gets a bonus from being near houses and villas. So it's a good idea to have, but houses need to be next to houses and villas needs to be next to villas. So I kind of need to have a bit of space there. Now I'm going to get a farmer's market here, which will allow me to build a market. Actually, no, I'm going to get a fish market because this allows me to get a fish, which I think is pretty cool. So I built a market here in the middle and the market is going to give me a lot of points. You can see that it gives me 16 points. And every time I build a new building, the market will give me 16 points. Even if I just build a field over here, it doesn't matter. It's still going to give me the points because it's almost as if that turned past. And this is really important. And this is something that's going to give you a lot of money. So keep that in mind. So let's build another field actually here. Next, I'm going to build a couple more villas here. Again, this is in range of the market, so it's going to give us a lot of points. And I also want to make the villas a little bit prettier because they're all going to be next to each other, which is great. Start building some houses on the other side as well. We need, what do we need here? We need a temple in order to finish these tasks and a mill. You can get a temple and a mill over here. So let's get that combo. But first, I think I'm going to continue building a couple more houses. And you can again, you can see that the houses change. I really like this. I would like it if, if obviously this is a demo, if the game in the future would allow us to kind of tilt the zoom. And yeah, if you could kind of zoom even even more and see these buildings, because I think in, in a minimalist city builder like this, kind of zooming and being able to look at it, it's kind of like a big part of the game. Now, I'm going to place a mill. Gives me plus three gold for each field in range. 
think if we build it like this, we're going to get this entire area in range. I'm going to place a couple more fields. Actually, maybe I should be... Yeah, because the fields by itself give quite a lot of money, so I think it's going to give us a lot of money. And we're also going to get a lot of points from the market. I haven't really like calculated in the sense like whether it's better to build the fields now. But for example, the fisher, it's best to build them latest. Because you'll get a lot of points from essentially everything else, as opposed to... Ooh, temple plus three gold for each house and plus two gold for each villa in range. As opposed to building them now where the markets and wouldn't give us nearly as much money. Now let's continue with our villas. The market has kind of everything in range. Except this edge there. Now the temple. I'm gonna build it like this. Can get a lot of points. Houses have to go over here. Getting a lot of points. Now th at this point it seems okay, so we can get any good bonuses, right? So we, we might lose the game, but I don't think we will because I think the fish is gonna give us how much. Let's see how much we get per turn. Yeah, it's definitely over a hundred. So it's not gonna so it's gonna be fine. So this is really interesting. We gotta keep in mind that we get points for everything else as well. I'm gonna build some platforms. Uh wait, what is the range of this temple? Yeah, so I wanna build some platforms here so that I can build houses later on, or actually villas in this case. Around here, so we'll get a bonus for that. And I'm gonna build the second fissure here. Beautiful. Now we could get a harvest, which will give us a bakery and a mill, but I think we need a couple more villas. Oh, and a bathhouse. Yeah, let's get a temple of Dionysus. What does bathhouse do? Produces seven gold for each house and three gold for each villa in range. Produces plus three gold for every oil press. Oil press like in general, it seems. 57 points if I place it here. 60 there. I think I want to place it like this and we would like to have more platforms and houses kind of like in this area. That should give us a lot of points. Yeah, plus 42 for all of these things. This is a house for plus 72. I'm not sure if we're gonna get to 3,500 I have to say. Yeah. We can place another temple. Should give us 34 points. Mm, it's like we get like 300 and we need something like 400 so i think at this point we're gonna end it because we can't make any more yeah we're not gonna reach yeah missing back then but here yeah you can see how the game plays i think it's really cool i'm excited to see a lot more buildings that are gonna be in the game and uh, I would like to see maybe some quests that also give you cards that could be interesting like because right now the quests just unlock packages and it can feel a little, little bit difficult to kind of get the points so it might be interesting there are some maybe special quests maybe there's like one quest that gives you extra cards and the other quest just gives you the unlocks that I think could be really interesting like maybe if the quest would give you like a specific building I think that would be quite fun yeah anyway so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did write down in the comments and you can click on the right towards some other games that you put on this channel i'll see you there bye bye